Shelby County family needs help after losing almost everything in an early morning fire. The family tells me they are so thankful. Their dog, who doesn't usually bark in the middle of the night, alerted them just in time. Derek Walker and his family are lucky to be alive, and he says it's all because of this guy, Ralph. <laughs> their 185 pound Great Dane. He's always there, he's always paying attention. He's always there to take care of us. Early Tuesday, their house caught fire. Ralph started barking, alerting the family before the smoke detectors went off. We were all asleep. It, it was, um, found out it was a little bit after two o'clock in the morning. It could have been really, really, really bad. Walker got up to investigate after hearing a noise in the kitchen. He quickly noticed the flames coming from outside the house. He started screaming fire and to get everybody out. Walker and his wife grabbed what they could and rushed to get their children and Ralph out of the burning house. We had two miniature pigs as well in, in the back and I opened those doors because uh, you know all, all I saw in there was smoke and, and orange and uh, called for them to come out and then one of them came out and the other one didn't. To be awakened like that, hey, this could have been a tragic event. We could have had four deaths, uh, okay, very easily uh, in this circumstance. North Shelby Fire Chief Buddy Tyler says the fire started on the grill and quickly spread to the home. I don't know how many alarms they had, but I do know that you want as many as possible. You know, we recommend one uh, on each level in the hallway and at least one in each bedroom. I also recommend them to have them in, if you have a basement, to have them in the basement and in the attic. While the family is thankful for Ralph, Chief Tyler hopes this serves as a reminder for everyone to make sure they have enough smoke detectors, something the fire district will provide for free. Uh, we'd be glad uh, to come out and do that. If you would just uh, call the fire station, uh, you can look us up on the web, NorthShelbyFire.com. Just give us a call and we'd be glad to help. And Walker says their Valleydale church family has really helped them tremendously over the last couple of days. There is a GoFundMe account to help this family because they've lost just about everything. If you would like to help by donating, you can click on this story on the WVTM 13 app.